Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Creature Corner, brought to you by Dell and Noman School of Visual Effects. My name is Jared Krzyzewski. I'm a creature and character concept artist working in the industry today. And with me is the main man, the Matt Millard, here with us tonight. What's up, man? Just, uh, just end the fine. Woo! Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Um, man, what a week. What a week. What dude. a week. What a week. What a week. It's been like a week. Such a week. Uh, such a week. But we're here on a Thursday night, actually. It is Thursday. It, I just checked my calendar. It's Thursday yeah. for sure. And I, I kind of like, uh, I was like, wait a minute, what's going on? It just, you know, the it, it shifted. Oh, and we're like, oh, it's melodic. It's nice. It's like meditative. Yeah, let's get let's find our inner peace while we make let's some find our peace. inner peace and make some gnarly stuff. Um, <laughs> Anyways, uh, you had uh, you had. I mean, should we just go ahead and tell us all about the all about your all about your week, dude? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Uh, so, the movie comes out uh, tomorrow officially called Godzilla X Kong. The uh, X is silent, by the, the way. The X is silent. It's just Godzilla Kong. Yeah. All, all one word together. A little bit of a weird move. A little bit, yeah, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, uh, Sterling loves the intro. What's up, Sterling? Hello, Sterling. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, yeah, man. Um, so, uh, I went to the premiere of the movie. The yeah. red carpet premiere with all the big, all the big wigs. Yeah, dude. Um, so they held held it at uh, Grauman's Chinese. Hell yeah. Uh, the like the the mega of like cinema uh, yeah. movie releases, and um, it was very loud and it was audacious, um, just like the movie, uh, and. Um, I guess, like experience-wise, it's it's a little you know it's it's a bit surreal because they you know they have the area um, kind of fenced off and you go in you know through security and then they funnel you down and then there's just the giant there's just displays everywhere things to look at um, that's so cool dude. It, it, uh, everywhere you look it's just like okay here's some like. Godzilla themed tofu or like here's some, you know here's some drinks uh you know um yeah the first thing you see is the giant monster truck that has Gong, uh Kong and the uh and the robot fist and um it's huge and amazing and then you go into the wall of toys so they have G you know what let me just bring up the photos <laughs> did you get to did you get to meet anybody like did you talk to wingard or anything i did i saw adam okay so like um there there's me like prior uh like okay here we go get these out of here yeah yeah, here. yeah 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 uh, <laughs> first shot of uh like the room from my car and my parking space so there there's uh there's the entrance you know there's the entrance uh next to the hard rock cafe um good mix of people around they had hollywood boulevard blocked off uh, for sick. a couple blocks yeah um so there were people that that were just kind of uh milling about on the other side just you know watching um, show us the goods there you go uh there you go there's the truck oh that's sick dude <laughs> that's super cool uh, <laughs> you got yeah. the you got the pink undershirt on too. That's yeah, nice. dude. Yeah, had that's to, nice. Had to rep the pink, and uh, yeah. So there's that's like right inside the entrance. There's will call. That's where you pick up your tickets, and it's very nerve wracking because you're like, oh my god, did, is this happening? Am I getting my tickets? Um, and there you go. This is a day. You know, they had photo booths and. Um, uh, drinks down there. Uh, they had a DJ going, and you know, food in the back, and then some tables out there um, off to the side, and you'll we'll see it. So this is the big um, wall of toys. That's dope. It spells out GXK. So they just had all the toys uh, lined up against there. 
Um, I, I brought I brought this uh, Godzilla from home, uh, but uh, they were like, "Hey, did you take that off the wall?" Yeah, I heard they were giving them out or something. Uh, they were giving out some masks at a, uh, or I guess at Beyond Fest they were giving out the toys. Oh, rad! Uh, there you go. So lots of like photo things to you know take a picture in front of. Um, great atmosphere, like just you know the music is loud. It's very energetic. Um, yeah. There you go. Huge displays. Yeah, that's cool. And be in front of it. There you go. And uh, I just want to like clarify that, like, as a concept artist, this never happens. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's a really, really big deal, man. And yeah. you got a credit as lead creature designer. I did, man. That and is so that, cool, man. Congratulations, dude. What a, what a, I mean, dude, this is just like, this is everyone's dream, right? To be able to go <laughs> to the red carpet with a director and all yeah. the promo stuff. Like, you're never credited. You're never even thought of in the in most of the time. This is just so, oh. so, so cool, dude. Oh, dude, Jared Shiflet is here. What's up, man? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yo, Shiflet, what's up? Yeah, I know, dude. Hell uh, yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, man, great to have you here. Like, that's super exciting. We gotta, we gotta just get you on here anyway. Uh, yeah, we gotta get you guys uh, on get here. Dude. Pop shop. Uh, but yeah, dude, like this, this never happens. Concept artists are not um, generally, you know, unless you're like, you know, uh, 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 I don't know. But I, uh, uh, true story, I did see Rick Baker there. And that is so sick. And I was too chicken shit. <laughs> I, oh, God. I was too chicken shit, man. I, I had my moment and I, I didn't use it. And I think it's because I, I fanboyed out in front of him once and I, I didn't want to... Uh, didn't want to embarrass myself but uh, i i wonder i was i was like what is rick what does rick baker think of godzilla x kong i'm sure he loves it <laughs> he is uh, uh yeah so there you go yeah, so, there we uh, go that's uh alex garcia the producer of the movie the awesome. you know big big man um very generous gracious guy um was very appreciative and like I'm like, dude, thank you, you know, thank you. And um, awesome. one thing I heard from a lot of them was, you know, we're really glad we were able to get you the ticket because um, it it was truly it was a last minute thing. Yeah. Uh, well, how did down, you uh, How did you manage that? What was the deal? Well, okay. You know, so, one or what? Well, I had heard uh, that Legendary was pulling for me uh, to come. Um, oh, sick! I, I premieres are. Um, complex things and a lot of people want to go um so yeah, yeah. you know this is, uh, this is I, basically jared kurchevsky the movie bro <laughs> uh, uh, I, I, well i i got some leads in there um but i i totally yeah um and then i ran like hey uh guys if you want me to go you know i need your help and i think that's what tipped it over Oh, that's cool, oh, man. man. And, and so truly, like, to, to everybody who, like, tweeted out and, you know, um, uh, you know, added at, uh, you know, at them, it got their attention. That's you know? really sick, dude. Yeah, man. So it's like they, they were they were pulling for me to go, but it's, you know, it's compl uh, complicated. Um, and so they, you know, I think the Twitter campaign put it over. That's awesome, um, dude. So great vibes. Um, the thing you'll realize uh, very quickly is everyone is very like attractive and like it's it's you're, you're like oh my god what What's, yeah you know because uh, I'm a cave Hollywood at its finest <laughs> yeah yeah I mean I live in a I live in a cave and uh, <laughs> you know stay, you know um, so it's you're kind of like oh wow yeah Hollywood. Um, so this is, you know, this is uh, one of the walks where they did a lot of um, interviews, just lots of cool stuff to stand in front of, um, get your picture. Yeah, did you, did you interview at all or? Uh, no, I did not. Um, you know, uh, uh, <laughs> they're like, no. <laughs> uh, 
but there this is the press pool over here you know this is where they the press are kind of bullpenned in um so they can interview uh with their cameras uh this is the bar which was my favorite spot uh the godzilla team yeah. was uh very strong very strong that's, that's cool uh and so was the uh kong's punch and um delicious like incredible uh, i did get alex to sign my uh my Godzilla. Sick. Uh, <laughs> so they got uh, green screen booths. There you go. Just the the height of you know just being at the Chinese theater. Um, yeah. I the first like movie premiere I ever got to go to like opening day was um, Star Wars Episode One. And so I got to see Star Wars Episode One at at Grauman's, and so that was like very special. So it just kind of like I don't know felt like a full circle kind of thing that's cool man um and then yeah over here is the um the other side of the press kind of area um so this is where the cast was taking pictures and all that stuff um doing other interviews back here they had some like smash tents i didn't get to go into the i didn't get to go to the smash tent hey mike what's up man uh yeah bummer <laughs> Where were you were able to, to get to see it, but uh, I'm glad you saw it eventually. Um, oh man, Alex Alvarez is here. Thank you, man. Yeah, yeah, uh, Super yeah cool. uh, uh, and uh, I had spoken with the uh, love that expression. Uh, I had spoken with the uh, production designers, like they, they haven't thrown a, a thing like this in a long time, so um, kind of felt like a, like a return. Um, just great time. This is their other like smash zone, um, so you can, <laughs> kick, you can kick the uh, kick these down and and whatever. Rick Rick Baker was sitting over there. Um, <laughs> That's cool. Just having a blast, dude. Uh, just uh, so excited. Um, my buddy uh, Chris uh, Merja Hanjir was from <laughs> from Toho Kingdom. Was there. Um, that, that dude has done like so much for me in the course of all this stuff. He's the guy who set up the Yamazaki meeting yeah. and has like hooked me up with a bunch of toys and playmates and all this stuff. So truly shout out to Chris at Toho Kingdom for really, um, dude, it. like, yeah, dude did so much for me and uh, has asked for like nothing in return. Um, so I'm, I'm going to help him obviously uh, uh, on some projects. Um, so, dude, just rad. Uh, there's the whole cast uh, and uh, the director, producer. Uh, there's Gia and um, Bernie and, and, and all of them. That right. beard is serious, too, man. Dude, it's so great. That's awesome. And, and I don't know if you've seen pictures from uh -huh. him, like, jumping around and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there's some pictures of him during production, which it is, it is down there, dude. It is metal. That's awesome. Um, but yeah, it's just great. Like, just so cool to get to see it all happen. Uh, there's a blurry picture. Look, I met Seth Green. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he was there. Um, and and uh, he was like, what do you, you know, I was holding this up. He said, what did you do? And I'm like, I designed this. And he was like, oh, shit. That's really cool. Yeah, man. Super nice guy. I was like, dude, fan from way back. Like, dude, we were both in bubblegum commercials. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Gonna <laughs> yeah. give it a minute. I love. There you go. There you go. Fun little moment. That's cool. Um, I do have some. There we go. Um, so I did get to talk to Adam, uh, very early on. Um sick dude yeah man uh and it was just uh great to get to chat was it awesome yeah oh dude it was so awesome and yeah, it was so sick, sick. Dude. uh he's that just like, so sick he's so <laughs> tall too he's so tall and uh he is really really tall but the thing that like what i love about him um because this is now like the second movie i've gotten to like kind of work with him on is he is so uh excited and like energetic about this stuff is so cool and um from like 
from like the time he pitched the movie um to like now like i'm like like damn dude you made that movie you know and so uh uh i he had said some nice things about me in an interview and, and so i thanked him i was like dude you know um and and we chatted uh, about some stuff hell yeah dude that's awesome yeah man uh it was just rad and he had a uh and i know he wanted to talk more but um he also uh uh, people are were kind of like, okay, you got to move, you got to move. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, just so awesome, and he's just like the nicest dude. Um, and again, like just so energetic. Uh, so yeah, man, uh, uh, that's like that's the big sauce. And then you know, you sit in the Chinese theater, um, and the crowd was straight up rowdy. Um, okay, so down to the meat and potatoes. Did you like it? Of course. Yeah. Was it super fun? It is. It is very fun, man. And um, my uh, my impression kind of like immediately after was like, well, I wanted more. Yeah. But like, <laughs> I want to see more. I wanted to see more. And and it comes from of like, it the movie moves fast. It's really really fast. And it yeah. Is, I mean, there's there's a lot in it from what there, we can it tell. is crammed full of stuff and there's like blink and you miss it kind of like stuff. So uh, I'm seeing it again on Saturday with the kiddo. Uh, and yeah, what did he, uh, he didn't get to go. Huh? He, did, he didn't even get Jackie to go. go with you? What? Did Jackie go with you? Jackie came with me. Um, she really loved the movie too. Um, That's so cool, man. Yeah. What an achievement, dude. Like I'm so, so happy for you, bro. It's, uh, oh, man. it's just the coolest thing in the whole world. Yeah. Like, it really and, is. And, and seriously, like, um, while I'm here, just, like, thank you to Lindsay McGowan at, uh, at uh, Legacy Effects. Lindsay, like, continuously, like, champions me. And yeah. I've gotten to work on just some of the coolest projects because of Lindsay. And then, like, Damon, who, like, is the man. Um, I, I love Damon. And really, I love everybody at Legacy. They're, they're truly, like, um, amazing. Um and and there were uh, also to mention like uh, Rob Liz, Simon Weber, and Scott Patton. Of also, yeah. were like tossing out some really really cool stuff. Um, and so for me, I you know uh, I, I was not credited on the first in the first movie, even though I had designed Mechagodzilla. Neither um, was I. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. And, and uh, uh, that's you know that's kind of standard issue for. Uh, for designers sometimes is yeah you know feelings, dude. yeah it, it can sit with you because i've been uh uncredited on quite a few projects oh yeah you know, just where, I, where i've also designed the lead creature uh and so um so when adam came in and he was pitching uh godzilla x kong he was like man i'm so sorry about the credit and was really apologetic that's um, cool and 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 humble about that too because like he doesn't have to be you know yeah um he's he's the director and you know the producers you know decide on these things so uh the fact that adam was like um very humble about it was really cool and then um and then here we are today and i've i've got like my this is my first lead uh creature credit yeah um, so that's it's also good. you know it's a, it's a great honor um and on a movie that's just bonkers it's bonkers and um so go see it go see it uh um, see it friday i had a great time i saw it uh yeah 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 and uh we'll see it again uh saturday man so hell yeah dude well that's uh that's super awesome congratulations buddy we're happy for you man it's uh totally sick dude well and uh you know on on the flip side of that I've been anticipating this for three years um, and yeah. now having, you know, ridden the wave again, what happens is after the crash, you're right. Yeah. Is, is like, now you're like, so now what do I do? Yeah. You know, um, but the excitement of the now is super fun and uh, you know, something I'll, I'll carry with me forever. Yeah, super sick, man. Yeah. What but, a what a success story. That's dope. 
not not to uh, not to spoil it, but your Warbat show up, show up. I saw I saw a screenshot where there's a bunch of them in the sky. So. Yeah, man. Um, At least I, li I live on. I live you on. You live on. You live on there, man. Live on, man. You live on. Well, and uh, the Warbat has its own fan base. Yeah, it's like ten, it's like ten guys. It's like ten guys. No, it's more than ten. <laughs> it's, it's like more. Than, it's like maybe twelve. People. It's more than ten. They love that shit. They love that shit. Oh, um, so back on Killer Instinct. Oh yeah, here we go. Way into oh yeah, we're uh, we're sharing our screen. Yeah, dude, I started on Folgor, and by started, I mean I'm like really. You're good. like nearly done, and I'm still, <laughs> uh, I'm still farting around on uh, glaciers. But that's that's okay, man. Um, do you have your saber wolf print? Oh yeah, look at this thing, dude. Look at this thing. Actually, I don't have a, I don't have the renders, but I've got this guy right yeah. here. Let's see if you can. Indie see. Respawn says there are dozens of us. It's huge. Let's Holy see if I can get a light on it. Hold on. So I get a light on this thing. Hope. Oh. Technology. There we go. Oh, dude, that's killer. Instinct. Dude, that is sharp. It's huge. That's like a full statue, man. Yeah, man. Full statue. I'm getting there. You like, you like ripped that out, man. Yeah. So fast. Yeah, dude. Like, I, I can't get a good picture of it now, but I started painting the metal arms and everything. They look uh, starting to pop it. Looks pretty cool. But yeah, it's 12, 12 inches. 12 inches, 12 inches total. That's beautiful. Yeah, sculpted here on Creature Corner, baby. Sculpted, sculpted right there. And uh, I'm doing still, the same thing. I'm still on uh, Glacius. I've got my full gore going. I've just been. Uh, <laughs> look at this guy. What do you think? Dude, it shreds. You started oh. at Nomad. Yeah, I started it in Nomad. Um, actually, I bugged, <laughs> I bugged him enough and I got key shot on my computer now. <laughs> oh, was that from your upstairs? Your yeah, upstairs? I had a, I had a node, I had a node locked license, uh, and I finally got him to unlock it for me to oh, use that's it on great. my other machine. That's good that they were cool about it. Hell yeah. <laughs> But yeah, totally stoked I'll be able to render on the show again. Um, Just absolutely slay it. Slay it. Um, Glacius. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Uh, where are you at, dude? You gonna, oh, man, you know, remember last time you were a little, I was fighting. little upset. Well, I was fighting it. Um, and so I had I had really tweaked the proportions last. That was oh, he's like really tall and lanky. Yeah, yeah. I decided to uh, okay push the proportions a little bit, push the shapes. Yeah. I don't know if uh, I I don't know. It was just instinct, a killer instinct. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, uh, he, look, he looks nasty, dude. Yeah, man. I got him back. Um, so I think uh, in the time we've got, maybe I'll try and pose him up or something. Cool, man. Um, yeah. And then uh, and then I'll ship that off to you. Yeah, let's get a let's get a so, print. Yeah, so we can get them all together. Yeah, that's uh, that's nuts. You know, uh, uh, make a little monster baby. So I'm gonna finish up some details on that, <laughs> and then maybe try and close them up. How long did that thing take to print? Uh, actually. I printed it all. I, I cut them all into pieces, uh, and, I, and it it printed in like twelve and a half hours, less the, than like a half a day. Yeah, like the the Piapoli, the forge is really really fast. I I really forgot, good. I forgot how fast it was. Um, and then I just printed the base on my FDM printer. It took you know I don't know six hours or something. I just did it overnight. But yeah, I mean, you know, if, if I was going to print it together on the large format, it would have taken over 50 hours to print as one piece. So 
I had to do a bunch of filing and filling to get it all put together. You always have to, you always got to mess with that stuff. So no, yeah. You got to finagle the uh, keys a little bit. Finagle the keys. Finagle, finagle the keys. I, Lima the drag, Lima. Lima, Lima. Lima the drag. Lima the dragon. As a London boy, I need you for the next film. I need Godzilla to destroy Tower Bridge, please. Has has he not shown up in London yet? Um, do you have a favorite part of Godzilla you love to create when it's starting from scratch? Uh, well, in Godzilla's case, uh, you know, I uh, I had a model from I think GXK or uh, GBK. So for me, it was um, just trying trying out shapes and uh, and kind of working with it and um, working out his evolution that way. So that, I, I wouldn't say I started from scratch. I had a pretty pretty damn good bang. And so it's it's a it's a it's you know I couldn't change it too much you know from the Godzilla that we know. Yeah, I, I remember whenever we were doing uh, Mecha Godzillas, we got the the Godzilla base. Right, right, yeah. They they handed those out at the same time we were working on it. Yeah, because it's I mean it's the end all be all reference for it's the base model from. Yeah, and, and that goes to a lot of artists uh, who are um, you know using it for paintings and other things. Um, they they got a lot of people going all at the same time. Big, it's a big thing, you know. It's a big thing. It's like a big thing. It's like Godzilla, a Godzilla's a big thing. He's a big uh, thing. Yeah, I'm just going to be refining some shapes on the legs and arms and stuff. It's been really fun, like, not thinking about it in a... Because this is just sculpted out of just like a body. You just you grab the, the polish and the trim and the... Dude, that geo, the, the soft forms brush is serious. It's it's serious business. It is the real deal. It's it's probably the best uh, brush ever made. Yeah, I, I think it's the best brush in the entire world. I think it's the best brush in the history of um, really anything. Yeah, anything. Anything ever. Uh, in It's the just a lot. It's just a very good question. Why does Andy Godzilla Reese hate on. bridges? Well, why do bridges hate Yeah, Andy Respawn's got a question here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the uh, the outline on Polgore. The outline on Polgore, we, we went over that, I don't know, a couple of, like, 100 episodes ago. You can just go down to this material swatch, hit Mixer, and there's an outline turn the outline to 100 and then you're going to give it the depth um the depth of the document like the z depth right so you can get some really thick lines the lower you go or if you just i i always like to have it because you can just kind of read an outline immediately you know uh but that was a really cool trick that jared showed us a while back so yeah i've got that outline on there I love that we can yeah. say like some 100 blah 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 episodes ago. And yeah, right. Say it so casually. <laughs> That's how long we've been we've been going. Back in my day, we back in my day, my we had the dynamesh everything. We had the dynamesh everything. Yeah, I'm gonna try out a new feature tonight for the posing. Uh, have you heard of proxy? Proxy. Oh, the the proxy pose. Proxy pose. I'm gonna try that tonight. We'll see how that. All goes. right. Let's see it. Oh, and uh, Matt, did did you say you were learning Blender? Uh, I downloaded it. Yeah, that's <laughs> about as much as I can say. Well, uh, it was my it was, it's like my I, most liked post on Twitter was <laughs> me saying I downloaded Blender, and I was like, <laughs> what the? F it's got more likes and more <laughs> shares than any piece of art I've oh ever my done. Oh my god! Oh my god! This will hurt your feelings. <laughs> it's just a bunch of like blender goblins being like, "Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, blender." Oh god! Oh jeez! Oh, there we go. Set off a car line. 
Yeah, Blender set off the car alarm. Yeah, Blender did it. Um. So, yeah, yeah I, I got it for rendering. I, I'm not going to be modeling or anything in it. Um, it's got some cool. It's got some cool stuff in there in the geometry nodes. Yeah, I know. I I know. It's. Uh, I've been watching a bunch of videos. Every, everybody it's knows really, about. It's really, it's really serious. I'm it's like, pretty. You know, cool. Looks great. Everything's great. Everyone's great at what they're and they're making cool stuff. It was. It was it's, actually really funny. I was on YouTube. Uh, yesterday, and I've been watching a bunch of Blender tutorials, and they're all like hilariously amazing. You know, <laughs> even in their editing and stuff, it's like Blender, blah blah blah. You can like you know make a waterfall and it's crashing up and all this <laughs> crap. And then I like pressed next, and it was just some sad guy, and it was like Quadra tutorial, and I, <laughs> and I was like, oh no, <laughs> this is what we look like. <laughs> It's what happens when you shine a light on the cave goblins. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Um, <laughs> yeah, I felt very self-conscious at the premiere for that reason. I'm like, I'm a cave goblin? Everyone, um, here, everyone here is beautiful. But like, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, there is the gambit. But I guarantee you that dude who said they're like, yeah, we're going to do this. He's the guy getting to the point. He's getting to the point. I, 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 what I really appreciate in my Blender tutorials is brevity. Just like get to the thing you want to show really quick. I'm like that with everything, man. And the second there's an ad, I just close the web browser. I'm like, <laughs> I'll just learn it on my own. They're like, uh, okay, guys, today I'm going to show you uh, geometry notes. But first, I want to thank our partners. I'm like, like nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> For real, I'm not kidding. I will just abandon the video. I'm like, I'm yeah. not doing this. <laughs> our, our stream is brought to you by Dell. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, 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 no, seriously, uh, Dell has a great series of uh, products that you're a wide range. That you're gonna... <laughs> Look at our boys. I gave him, uh, I frosted his abs. I think I think that's what he needed. He needs frosty abs. <laughs> Fro Me frosted abs. It sounds like a cereal. Me frosted abs are tired. <laughs> abs. It's like the I've cereal. been out frosting me abs all morning. Me abs. I'm tired. <laughs> Where's me potatoes? Now you sound like Ringo. Me frosted abs. I don't know why he's at. I don't know. Add some snow. Ooh. Uh, I've actually been spending a lot of time in Substance Painter. Oh, um, nice. I'm finally getting, like, used to it. That's cool. Oh, I was very bad at it for a long time. That's just what happens. Very bad at something for a long time. Austin abs. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Well, Substance Painter is cool. Um, and uh, it, that's all I got to say about that. It's rad. Yeah, man. Uh, because uh, back in my day, I mean, I remember having to use, like, body paint on Cinema 4D because that was, like, the closest thing you could do. Yeah, I mean, it's basically like the new body paint, right? Pretty much. They keep updating it, too, which is nice. I mean, I did, I think, uh, several years ago for a Chinese movie, I did a hero, I did a hero, like, demon that's in, like... Yeah, uh, yeah, your demon boy. And that was, that was before Substance even had, like, UDEM support, dude. Like... I've oh, been, wow. I've been using that for a minute. How, how did you do that? Did you like break the model down or something? No, uh, yeah, I developed a workflow to where you could just triplanar project along the seams uh, and, they, cool. and they would match up. Oh, that's sick. Uh, surprised you aren't using Mari. Yeah, I don't use Mari. I don't use Mari. It's, um, uh, I mean, it feels it's amazing. 
it, it's an amazing software, dude, that uh, you can just pick up substance like immediately. immediately. Uh, and, and Mari has uh, kind of a different workflow too, doesn't it? Oh yeah, big time. I mean, it's way more of a technical workflow. I mean, but also if you're doing something with like 400 UDEMs, like you're using Mari. Yeah, okay. for sure. If yeah. you've got a if you've got a character, you know that's 20, 30 UDEMs, and it's a hero character, you can you can do it like in a substance, especially now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it is but, you know like all of the all of the dragons, um, you know, on Game of Thrones, like they're they're using Mari. Dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just a real real. High, it's got it's high. got limbic support. It's got node graphs. It's got it's got everything you can you can bring in your animated cameras and match your shots for texture specific you know oh, you wow. always, you that, always have to do that in uh in production you always have to do like uh shot sculpting and shot textures there is a lot of shot specific stuff that has to happen in film yeah you know i i, I hope a lot of people realize that you will throw stuff in a shot and it'll look it'll look uh, you know like um, I, I remember seeing an, uh, a Pixar animator had posted um, the uh, the side, like the back of a Luca frame. So just an animated project on what it looks like on the other side of the camera. Right. And, and it's just like mash, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's, because it's film, film is all about what's in frame, dude. Yeah. Like that's you, can, you, you can garbage it out. Yeah. As long as it looks good in the shot. It, you can get away with a, uh, a whole bunch of stuff. But that does require a lot of shot specific stuff that has to be done. Raw. Raw boy. And it's nice. So, what pose do I put? Glacius in. I mean, his uppercut, I guess. <laughs> Here, let me pull up. Uh, let me pull Is there up any, my... like. Yeah, I think we need to do them all in the same kind of um, layout here to where we can, like, print them and then face them off once. Like, yeah, the... yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe nothing um, above the really? shoulders. Let me show you. You know, like where you where you I'm raise the shoulders up. Like because right now you have, I mean, they should all be at an angle, but right now you have Saber Wolf at an angle. Yeah, like this. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, he's like stepping. He's stepping down from coming on top, so the base has an angle to it. And they can both face off. Okay. Right. Okay. Like, uh, uh, let me see. I don't know if I. Have oh, you know what he should be doing? He should be, you know, on a glacius. On a glacius. Yeah, he, he should be on a glacius. On a glacius. All right. But yeah, you know, he's like looking down. He is facing off. They're ready to fight. And maybe, uh, maybe next week I'll bring the file in and we can put them together or something and make some adjustments or whatever. It's a good idea. All right. Uh, then I've got an idea and I'll just do it. Ideas are for doing. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Okay. Don't let your dreams be memes. Oh, you know what? I gotta do the hands. His feet are kind of hilarious. Classic rocks.
Okay. 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 So delete. Spin it. Bop it. Bop it. Spin it. Twist it. To twist. Twist it. Watch me spin this rock for 20 minutes. Watch me spin this rock. Okay, so as I understand it, and this is why I'm gonna version up real quick. Oh yeah, you're gonna do the old- Cause I'm gonna do the thing. So if you're gonna do the thing, save your work. Right? I, tried it, I tried it recently, I tried it last week. Okay. I was like, maybe I can pose Saber Wolf with this. I did not end up using it. Today. Didn't like it. Okay, well, let's uh, let's break it and see if we can fix it. Uh, in that case, Proxy Pose. Yeah, it basically makes, you know, just a proxy mesh. And you yeah, it's like a, it's kind of like a Dynamesh, really. It, it just crunches it super hard pretty cool have you tried doing this on uh like a t-pose model you mean like transpose yeah or, or like t-pose mesh and then try proxy pose on that, that yeah so uh transpose changes your point order okay so and and that would break it and that's it's like uh also whenever you go into transpose and you try and use the cloth brush it won't work it won't match up because it changes the uh point order so I think my theory here is you want to at least have like enough. I mean, if it's all together like that, yeah, dude, like that's. Well, I started actually started doing it like this recently, basically what you're doing and not going into transpose. If I have just my models separated out, I can just get them all low res. Doesn't matter because it crashed it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Well, that's what happens. Bring it back. This is why we save. This is why we save. I want to see Dune 2. I still haven't seen Dune Oh, yet. man, I saw it um, last Oh, week. did you? Yeah, dude, it's great. Sick. It's, it's great. Looking forward to it. Uh, it, is, it is awesome. It's beautiful. Like, I that sense of like awe and scale is and just there's that sense of just like sand and just it's like everything is sand everything is it's there's lots of sand in it you're gonna love you're gonna love the sand you're gonna love the sand gracious Do we have our soundboard again Do we have that back or yeah. is your, yeah uh james said his computer bricked <laughs> oh no yeah, i know i know i felt bad Voices. there it is there we go. We how are you doing james good to, good to have you bud he's the best james is the best uh it's a fact that james is the best okay proxy pose let's try this again So I want just enough detail to be able to work with it. And we'll just turn everything off and work with the body. Oops. So maybe um, it's kind of like gliding down. Glacious.
center. Okay. Glacious. <laughs> Glacious. 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 Dude's got, a, dude's got a foot. He's got a foot. Look at that foot. This is uh, what we call the ugly state. Oh, yeah. You got to embrace the suck. It's going to, like, hurt for a while. If you just embrace that suck. It's crazy that it can like store your high res points like that. I need to move this shape around this rock. And one brush I like for this is the move elastic, the M E move elastic. Cause you can really like brute force. You can really brute force some shapes. Kind of makes your, kind of makes it like liquidy a little bit. It, it, it has like a little bit of a, like a wobbly bobbly kind of uh, property to it. Wobble, uh, wobble, wobble. It's very wobbly. So let's get around here. Put that up a little bit. I don't want this guy to get too big. Keep the environment small. He is made of a little bit of mercury. It's possible that he's made of mercury. It's like uh, it's like a big question about their species. They've gone to, really concerned about it. They've gone to war over it. Yeah. And they don't even know the answer. They don't even. <laughs> Tell us, what are we made of? What are we? What are we? What are we? Like, we don't, we don't know. Comboed breaker. Imagine if Killer Instinct was a restaurant. <laughs> 
I'll have uh, one combo breaker. Yeah, and can I get that ultra? Can I get that? Um, can I get that ultra? And I'll have the supreme victory sauce on the side, <laughs> please. <laughs> Oh man, I love their glacious drinks. Uh, they, they would be like their frosties. Frozone. Yeah, he's got. Uh, yeah, I kind of got him frozoning a little bit. You know, like with any ice guy, they always kind of like create a ice. Uh, you know, an ice slide, and that goes back to Ice Man. In the it goes back to Ice Man. It goes back to Ice Man. Man made completely of ice. He uh, he is the iced man. So icy. Uh, you're yeah, you're made of ice, not mercury. Uh, we put you in our drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, would you would you put your finger in there now? Yeah, would you mind? It's would you uh, mind, yeah. Would you mind getting this real quick? It's hot outside. It's really like. You know, I I had to actually go run out and get some ice, but would you mind? <laughs> this is very insulting to my people. <laughs> we think. <laughs> 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 They're just unsure of everything. They're just really <laughs> maybe. This might really piss our kind off. <laughs> you, this is very offensive to my people. But first, let me check if that's true. I'll check with my old ISIS grandpa. My my old ISIS. Oh yeah, we don't listen to him anymore. Yeah, he's like really kind of crossed really, the line. He he, you know, he fell down a rabbit hole. Ice, and then they hear Vanilla Ice's "Ice Ice Baby" for the first time. They hear it before the Queen song. <laughs> they hear it before Under Pressure. <laughs> no one tells them about Under Pressure. This is offensive to our people. We are made of ice and mercury. <laughs> There's like different factions. <laughs> the mercury bloods have called. <laughs> A little bit of HG. HG, well, I am ice and also mercury. Yeah, someone cut your H.G. Wells joke. Oh, thank you. Okay, yeah. all right. <laughs> That's Sterling. I know. I'm. It's very nerdy. Yeah, it's, it's very very nerdy. Something This is uh, again the dad joke. Just cannot be helped. Prepare to taste the fury of my ice. You're a what wizard. Are gonna do, what are we going to do after Killer Instinct? We have no idea. Um, actually, I mean, we shouldn't discuss business on air, but whatever, Dope Pope wants to come on and sculpt some kaiju with us. 
Oh, cool. We should, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to do that because, uh, uh, you know, there's a little movie about some uh, giant fighting monsters. And um, I don't think we've done any giant fighting monsters. Have we? I don't think so, no. I don't think most we've done a lot of like spooky shit. Gracious. 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 <laughs> that's that's just what they say to each other when yeah. they <laughs> they're like Pokemon, dude. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Uh, would creepy moon boy count as a kaiju? Uh, maybe. Or a cryptid. Probably a cryptid? Yeah, a cryptid for sure. I mean, he is like the creepy uh, clown prince of the moon. The, the creepy clown prince of the moon. Yeah, I think I, I... Dude, I was doing some like... Yeah, I think he's uh, he's like royalty or something. And that's why he's so creepy. Creepy moon boy. Oh, damn. Yeah, you're getting into the hard surface stuff now, man. Yeah, it's fun. Is it? Yeah, it's really fun. I like Whenever, whenever I like you, like, stop thinking about, like, actually modeling the pieces out and you're just, like, sculpting, it's really fun. Because then you're actually coming up with ideas and shapes. Yeah, and it's all natural and organic. It's super easy. There's no, there's no trick to it. Like just get a base mesh and start polishing. You know, he, he is a, uh, a cybernetic uh, killing machine. He is a cybernetic killing machine. He's uh, like some kind of a cybernetic killing machine. Dude, are you like a cybernetic killing machine? Fulgor, Fulgor. Is that a yes? <laughs> Fulgor. <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> all, all, <laughs> they can all only say their names. Saber Wolf! Saber Wolf! I am also made of part Mercury. Do y'all know Kios Masons? I do. No Masons. Uh, yeah, dude. They're. Oh, you know their stuff, man. You you've seen all their stuff. Oh yeah, I'm I'm really bad with names. Um, if if I showed you their stuff, you would you would know. Um, dude, there that dude is rad. Uh, Mark Marco Pluth, um, and Cedric Seal, I think, are the two dudes. They um, <clears throat> uh, their like hard surface workflow. Yeah, yeah, uh, um. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, they got a bunch of people now. That's cool. Um, their hard surface workflow is killer, man. It's like, it's organic, um, but also it requires a lot of cleanup. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, uh, what, what I noticed was whenever I was working on Saber Wolf, I was like, you know, maybe maybe by now there's like some killer tool or killer workflow. And it's like, no, man, I mean, it's, you literally just sculpt it, remesh it, polish it, metal it, replace it. You, you, you do it all. Yeah. yeah. And, <laughs> you and, just got to put the work in, dude. <laughs> yeah. And it's, it's kind of like, uh, it's like pick your poison. Like, how do you want to go? Yeah. You know, do you want to just sculpt everything and polish it all down or yeah. do you want to like get it crisp? And for like, some of those pieces for like sideshow and stuff. Um, They're insane. When or you know when you see like a, a Magneto on a Sentinel or you know stuff like that, they're doing a lot of cleanup stuff. Um, like the the Kucherek brothers. Yeah. Kind of so uh, awesome. they're, they're also so they're also so sick. 
and you know they do a lot of concepting on their statues too and they you know you just sometimes have to clean it up clean yeah. that tape up and so it's like pick pick your poison what do you how where do you want to suffer <laughs> the most yeah they're they're rad they're really great keo masons too i mean i, I watch uh I watch his videos all the time. It's like hard surface. I even though I've done, <laughs> I do a lot of hard surface. It's still mystifying and hard to me. Yeah, I think uh, the big thing with me is I, I haven't done a lot of organic hard surface, so that's why maybe this is fun because it's you're just you're just sculpting. yeah yeah it's a little bit more freeing up I instead think. of like you know making pieces and kit bashing and. You know, I'm trying to get your design that way. Yeah, depending on you know, depending on what the prompt is, for sure. Yeah, exactly. And kit bashing is its other is a whole other thing, um, which can lead to keeping your stuff kind of stale. Yeah, you know. Gracious. Okay, so I think I'll flex the elbow on this one. Then. I'm gonna try the proxy pose on that too. And take this out of proxy pose. So let's pray real quick. Let's see how it goes. Can he do it? Can he do it? Can he do it? Come on, you can do it. You can do Come it. On, kill Come on, me. Come on. Now, I'm not going to touch ZBrush while it's doing this. Nope. I'm not going to touch it. Don't touch it. You don't touch it. Order, oh, the <laughs> pinky blindness. <laughs> Love it. You got to give. Oh, and look, there it is. It worked. This is why you don't touch it. My order. That is pretty cool. I think uh, I would definitely recommend that in the future. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah? You have a good oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Yeah, dude. It oh, is a pretty oh, cool yeah? feature. Did, uh... Was it you that said you were just, like, getting through, um... The Sopranos? I mean, I finished it months ago. Months ago. Months ago. Yeah. What are you watching now? I'm not watching anything, man. I don't I don't watch things. Yeah. I'm not watching anything right now. Okay. Um, just been trying to get, get stuff up and ready for my online shop. Yeah, 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 man. That's been the push. My man. Been watching suits, lawyers and stuff. Lawyers, <laughs> yeah. There's something about listening to lawyer lawyerly bullshit that uh, is uh, relaxing. Here's you know, always like, oh yeah, well I'm gonna do this. Well, your honor, <laughs> it's true. There, yeah. there's, there's a lot of that. Well, we're then we're gonna file a complaint against your yeah yeah you really showed him yeah <laughs> you got him <laughs> this might be happening whether you wanted to or not <laughs> merger merger Mercury, our 
people are mercury. No, ice. <laughs> guys, guys, we are mercury and ice. Kill him. Kill him. <laughs> Kill him. Gracious. Gracious. That's, that's when they call up Cinder and have him uh, just melt him. Oh, he's like an assassin. Cinder. And in his right mind would a man return from the dead. Don't forget to save your work. Save your work. I haven't checked out Shogun yet. I've been meaning to start that though. That's actually a good call. I'll start watching that tonight, hopefully. I heard it was really good. I've heard also very good things about it. I've heard we only good things about it. I've never heard a bad thing about it ever. I don't think bad things exist. I don't, I don't, think, I don't think that's real. Tell that man it's a crime against me. I think I might give him a blade hand. Yeah, give him like one blade hand. You know yeah. What I mean? Yeah, like one one blade hand. Show off some of that business. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Gavin McNutt says the Shogun is very intense. <laughs> Thank you, Gavin McNutt. <laughs> 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 yes, Gavin McNutt reporting live. <laughs> I'm ready to check this, it out. This is Gavin McNutt reporting live. <laughs> uh, everybody says uh, episodes have been uh, very intense. Typhus6677 says, hey. What's up, Typhus? Thank you for coming by. What do you know about Killer Instinct, Typhus? Do you know the lore? Do you know the deep lore? Do you know if he's made of mercury or ice? <laughs> Gracious! You got a Fulgore? Can you hit me with a Fulgore? Is it not real? What's not real? The soundboard. Oh. Never played Love the Designs in some lore. The lore. The lore, lore. Russians. Yeah. I have some plans uh, that are coming to light. I'm going to give him a blade hand and I'm also going to make his legs part mercury. Part mercury. Like he's he's surfing on uh, like a mercury wave. Yeah, that's what's up. Uh, that sounds cool. Yeah. But what's going on? It's a big part of who they are. Mercury. 
There it is. Oh. Four. I'm trying some more sculpting. Would love to know your thoughts. Um, James, can you copy paste that to us? Let's take a look. Is it okay if we share that here? What is the percentage of mercury to ice? That's the debate, man. Yeah. The whole debate. They're, they've been trying to figure it out for eons. Eons. They are an ancient race that just cannot figure this out. Since the inception of their, you know, esoteric birth. Yeah. Like, truly, like, um, it's... Um, it's it's built into their species they um is the silver surfer made of mercury it sounds like he's an arch nemesis sounds like they would hate him um, yeah like who's who's the real copycat right okay um uh, texas is it cool if we we do this what you want to do it on air Oh yeah, he shared uh, last time, I think. Yeah, yeah, pro you were working on some progress because we talk about skulls, right? Um, yeah, man, it's uh, yeah, okay, cool. Look, it's uh, you're you're off to a good start, man. Just keep going. You know what I mean? Is um, like the things that you want to start obsessing about is like start counting the number of teeth and start learning the the names of the bones um ingraining that knowledge into you will will help kind of um you know the overall process so just keep going that's yeah, that. yeah it looks great man yeah man you're you're on your way just keep going that's that's yeah. like um a lot of artists uh hit a, a place where they kind of stop um and and what i uh the other thing that's kind of required is is stamina is, is just like sculpting stamina um just like you would train as an athlete like the first time you run a mile it hurts real bad um but the more you do it the better you get uh you get at it and then you can do it for longer periods of time same with sculpting or drawing is that like when you first started it's kind of like exhausting yeah um and uh it it takes a while and then eventually man you you just turn you know you turn it off and you just do it by muscle memory so um lots of references that's the other thing um i have a uh i have an ecorche model um so i bookmarked this website um it's from uh anatomy for sculptors i'll post that in the link here it's a very very good uh reference uh, uh yeah yeah and and right in on the on the spot here but when whenever i'm sculpting um i i really make sure that my references are are really good so um one thing i see a lot of students do is they bring in um references that are other people's like work in progress sculpts right and, or there it's like a junior artist looking at junior artists work and um and so I'm, i look at it and i'm like well that's wrong that's yeah. wrong you know um so they're they're not they're they're not referencing the right way and so that eats up like a lot of it and so getting good references is just a huge chunk of this so um anatomy for sculptors is like that reference that i recommend to everybody yeah they rock um they really rock um like i I follow all their accounts and um, anytime they post an image, I'm saving that in my reference files. I, I, I buy all their books. You know, this is like kind of my go-to source. Um, so here's like the plane of the skull, right? Um, so before you understand the, the complex shapes of the skull, start with uh, the simple shapes of the skull. So these are what we call like the, the planar, the planes of the head right is um and these are the most basic simple planes that uh, uh that a head shape makes and then you once you get this kind of sculpted down you polish it and smooth it down and then suddenly you have your your skull so um 
<clears throat> understanding you know the depth and shape of the skull uh from different angles or the kinds of head shapes that there are uh as well um i really like this uh reference for uh understanding you know the, the again the planes of the face um here they actually have like outlined the the major forms um of the face so i really recommend um this as well uh and, and it's important to mix your references to like mix it with like high quality stuff and then look at photos of people too at the same time um yeah yeah i mean this is this is what i go to and uh i collect a um a lot of different kinds of references as well um let me give me a second and pull up my um just so you can see my reference files here for my anatomy like just like the the kind of breakdown that i do for my anatomy as well i just have so much anatomy reference um that i've collected and it's you know, for the most part, categorized. Um, <clears throat> but like, this is what I'm looking at when when I'm looking at stuff. Is I really, you know, this is 14 years of research and reference gathering, and I will gather um, everything from everywhere that that is is kind of relevant. So, um, build up your library, study this stuff. Do you have to know the name of every muscle and bone? No. You just need to know and understand the the shapes that things are making, right? Do you have to, you know, um, should you learn all that stuff? Yeah, absolutely. You should learn all of that stuff. So um, this is also stuff that I've collected from other artists as well. Um, this is just a really nice kind of breakdown of starting with a simple shape, um, you know, carving in forms, um, working out the, the major forms first. Uh, splitting the jaw off and then uh, working the teeth in afterwards. So just get the major shapes in first and think about the, the, the teeth as a part of this like overall shape too. So it's little things like that. So um, be curious, uh, look at real skeletons as well, museum skeletons. Um, so in conjunction with all of your uh, kind of like shape anatomy which is the anatomy for sculptors um all of this stuff gather real references too so um yeah and, and uh <clears throat> well burton hogarth is still really relevant um this this is also a fair critique but uh burton hogarth has energy in his work right and it's stylized anatomy so that can still be useful so um, Hogarth is is absolutely relevant. It's it's like how you combine these references together that's going to make your work unique and kind of like stand out. But uh, the journey uh, is of a thousand miles. It just takes time to to do this stuff. Uh, just like uh, just like an athlete trains every day uh, to get stronger, they train their muscles. You have to train your uh, visual library. Um, you have to train your eye, uh, what I call the observant eye. Um, so being able to like look at shapes, break things down, uh, look at surfaces, break those down, and interpret those things. And then like, how do you combine something together that's new? So it is. It is a lot. It is a lot. Um, and it takes time. I've been doing this for 14 years. So it's, um, it's a journey and I'm still, uh, you know, if you ask me as an artist, I'm still not where I want to be, <laughs> which is insane. Uh, so if I feel that way, I can imagine that's how, you know, many others feel as well. Matt Millie's back and we were talking about the journey of a thousand miles. The journey of a thousand corpses. That's more like it, actually, because um, there are a lot of works in progress that you will make and never finish. But it's can he do it? Can he glue it? Can he glue it?
The man's made of gloom. And mercury. I um, also made some more on this guy if you want to take a peek. Yes, shoot it our way. Maybe one day, Matt, will do a portfolio review. Say what? We'll do it. We could do a portfolio review. Oh, yeah. Let's do kind of cool. Come to Creature Corner. Get your feelings hurt. <laughs> <laughs> You know how I feel about criticism? Always constructive, never destructive. Man, probably not. Let's not do it. Uh, thank you, Will. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, we killed it on, on GXK, man. It's uh it's very fun. Very, very fun movie. Oh, yeah. Matt, remember our guy here? He's doing it? some more work on our worm guy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. There he is. I like it a lot. What a goober. I like his fingers. I like his little fingies. He's got salad finger vibes. Yeah. It looks like he's got some droopies, too. Yeah. I mean, I would definitely say focus on the primary forms, like the anatomy of the kind of like the slug style on the, yeah, yeah, yeah. On the tummy, kind of pop the tummy out a little bit. It's looking uh, a little flat. He's great though. He's got, he's got some like a uh, Freddy Krueger vibes, dude. Like whenever he turns into that worm in Dream Warriors or whatever. Let's see, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Matt, what Matt's saying is kind of like, yeah, poof out the belly a little bit, and this will make this shape really appealing. Um, I would also add add some uh, bulk in the back here to support the head. And then um, when you look at slugs or like snails and stuff, look at the underside. They have this kind of like undulation kind of wave underneath. And so I would say add, adding a little bit of like um, uh, that would be really cool. But like otherwise, like, dude, this is great. Um, <laughs> yeah, if, if you make this a really strong shape and then you add the little like the udders <laughs> that you have, <laughs> uh, then, then then do that, right? Yes. So I don't don't lose those. Just just fill out the shape and then bring those back afterwards. Uh, but like. Really, as far as like the head goes, I wouldn't change a thing. Like, I, I really like the head. Head's great. <laughs> like, his, his little his, like smile. I mean, I guess I guess you need a little bit more structure. Yeah, you could do a little in the secondary forms, push and, a little bit of the the draft. Yeah, yeah. Um, when we when we talk about draft, um, what we talk what we mean is there there are angles to the skull. Um, so a skull. It, it it's not just like a flat kind of cube like this um it, it actually rounds out quite a bit and that's that is what we're what we call draft like uh like air drafting around a surface like that so the skull is actually pretty rounded up again grab that link um from anatomy for sculptors and then like just turn that model around because because once you understand the skull as a 3d form it, it'll do wonders for your work for yeah you. It, it helps you it's such a complex it seems simple but it's such a complex form that it helps you also read it, all the other shapes in the world because it's in your head you're like i know what a skull looks like. yeah and yeah so you're like oh crap and then you start looking at everything differently you know yeah and um and that's true is like um there there's that that thing of like we look at people all day every day we look at ourselves in the mirror all day. So when something doesn't feel right, it feels uncanny, right? That's the term. Right. And uh, and so this is why CG is very hard. Um, it's very hard to get right. Uh, I, uh, let me let me go back a bit. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to get the Hayatoy Shimo. Yes, I I saw that too. I oh, am very. Cool. I want, I want, give it to me. 
salad fingers. Salad fingers vibes. Yeah, totally. Uh, I'll do this next week and then I'll show you. Yeah, we love it. We love to see the progress. Um, yeah, like the most you'll learn is just sculpting the skull. And then uh, once you've kind of gotten through the skull phase, then you can start doing like um, like practice of just a human skull. Just practice a face, like a generic face, and then just keep going from there. And then then try a likeness. Try sculpting a, an actual person. And also, then, yeah. And then wrong. and then you just keep doing that forever. Uh, I mean, not you're you're not wrong. It really is uh, uh, the the game is really just mileage. And uh, Matt and I just preach that all the time because that's all it all it really takes. Uh, repetition is the mother skill set. Doing the same thing over and over and over, which is also the definition of uh, insanity. That's right. Full core. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, Glacius. Glacius! My man loves Glacius. The other thing we say a lot is, uh, build habits and so if you if you do a little bit every day you build up that habit oh dude those cables look sick thanks dude you know he's just just partying all right here's a question who's who would win fulgor or like cyrax <clears throat> and i think cyrax definitely has a, a better skill set I think so. I was actually thinking about doing the uh, the Cyber Ninjas. I love them. Yeah. Dude, I love the Cyber Ninjas. I want a large scale Shimo so bad. Me too. Me too. <laughs> Give me all of it. Hey, man. Hell yeah, dude. It is a lot of fun. More Godzilla X Kong in Fortnite. I thought they were doing a Fortnite thing. Get that, get that Fortnite action. I don't understand Fortnite, but I am an old person. It needs a Mecha G statue too. Uh, yeah, they they had the Prime One statue which is sitting back there and it is very large that is the biggest collectible i've ever seen in real life dude and and uh man i miss i miss my prime one turtles who knows yeah, what happened turtles those were cool those were those were awesome who knows where those are now Should have taken those with me. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Glacius. Chicken butt. Glacius. No, Glacius. Glacius. The people who are ice and also mercury. Okay, 
Okay. I'm gonna try and scale the hand up. The anchor brushes are great for this. Yeah, I just started They're using them. This. That's great. So good for this stuff. Just to make large, like proportional changes, so easy now. My friend Glacius. It's a buddy comedy. We do not know if we are Mercury or Ice. <laughs> oh, Glacius. Laugh That's all track. Yeah. <laughs> That's all he says. We do not know if we are ice or mercury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's getting old, Glacius. Just you know, give it a rest. Take a nap, buddy. <laughs> We're sitting around a bar. What's wrong? What's wrong, Glacius? You look down. We do not know if I am ice or mercury. Tell the kid. <laughs> Uh, what kind of reptiles did you take as inspiration when making Shimo? I'm going to keep that one quiet for now. I'll talk about it later. For now, the, uh, I gotta I gotta let the movie come out first. Everyone watch the movie, and then I can talk about it. Um, any suggestions for someone interested in pursuing VFX but can't afford to go back to school? Uh, YouTube Academy. Just like uh, just lots and lots of YouTube. Um, start with Blender, which is free. Lots of tutorials there. Um, study human anatomy. Just... You know, if, if you're, what I would say as well is that um, be diligent about your own like self-education and just um, keep learning stuff every day and giving yourself projects to stay on task. That, would, that stuff's really helpful. Um, what do you think, Matt? I mean, yeah, dude, the internet. They got, you, they got you covered. Yeah, they got you covered. Matt's learning Blender too, and also uh, me as well. I will also learn Blender, and if I post about it, it will. Yeah, you get to you get a, <laughs> a big old following. Man. You get a big old following uh, from that. Goblins come out. Blender <laughs> <Wonder> goblin. <laughs> You like Blender? Hey guys, this guy's talking about Blender. They're like the vegans of uh, CG. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of true. <laughs> you know about, did you know about Blender? Oh no, I use Blender. Yeah, well, I could I could do some geometry nodes. Yeah. Um, it's kind of like an ethical decision, but we use <laughs> I don't know, man. What do you think? I think the base is going to be too big on this. No, that looks cool. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I mean, uh -oh. you can just make it smaller. Like, they do. I, I think the idea is really cool. So, okay, cool, cool. It's constantly tweaking, you know? It's, I mean, especially once we get them up next to each other. I need to redo my base, anyways. It's just a mound with some skulls. So. I mean, you printed that boy out already. Uh, yeah, he's got to get reprinted, though. Were there, like, some issues or whatever? Yeah, I've 
Well, it's a prototype right now. I need to adjust some of the keys and um, adjust the sculpt in some some areas. You know, it, like after painting it, you can tell like, oh, this needs more fidelity. Stuff. Isn't like that, that interesting too? Like you never really know until you print it and like paint it. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Back in the day, I was just forums and IRC. Oh my gosh. IRC, yeah, I was on that for sure. What was what is what was that? Oh, dude, it's just like uh, I guess it's actually like Discord is kind of like the new IRC now. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, ASL, yeah, so, right. Please print some of your Cenobites model. Right. Yeah, I've been meaning to revisit those. The Ceno Knight. He's one of my favorites that we've that I've done. Dude, that thing is epic. It's because it's freaking epic. Remember when I was going to finish my Ceno Dragon? <laughs> Remember ten my... Weeks. <laughs> two weeks. Ten weeks. We had ten weeks. <laughs> Did we take that long? Yeah. Holy shit. That was over two months. Yeah, just like my uh, Apocalypse uh, Frankenstein. Yeah, that's a cool one. on mercury but also partially ice <laughs> can i share my 2d sketch for a monster verse in Jiris with you guys i would love to see some thoughts on the shape language before i keep adding sure uh, i don't know how you would share that just uh share a link in the chat if you're if you can Mercury, ice, why not both? Yeah, to share a link in the chat, and then um, and then uh, James can get that to us, and we can look at it. We can look at Mercury. These are throwaway practice pieces. Are you going to do pri final and print? Uh, well, yeah, like um, Matt's already printed his. Yeah, I printed the Saber Wolf. The old Sabry. Sabry Wolf. Sabry. Savory. Savory Wolf. Savory Wolf. Again, at the restaurant. Let's laugh about <laughs> hey. What, uh, uh, what's in the Savory Wolf? Oh, yeah, that's the, uh, it's Wagyu B. <laughs> Ground. I have not watched that show in, in probably several months. Oh yeah, I started rewatching it recently. Really? Oh, I get just, just at nighttime. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna pop it on, just to settle down a little bit. Yeah, you know, just get, get some Tim. Get, 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 you gotta get some Tim. You gotta get some Tim in your life.
Matt, you thinking those hair cables will have to be printed separately? No. I will mash those boys together and make a printable mesh. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, Tim Robinson, yes. We are um, giant dorks. We are psychos. We are totally psychos. Yes, we love... Uh, it's one of those shows that uh, Matt and I have um, probably consumed every single piece of thing. I am so hot. You know, I met him. I met him. Met the man himself. I met the man himself, and I uh, embarrassed myself in front of him and my wife. And your child. From and my child. Don't forget your child. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I no kid, but... <laughs> no, he was sleepy. He didn't know what was going on. Well, he'll remember. It's a core memory now. He, it's a core memory now, and uh, he will remember <laughs> that time his father embarrassed himself in front of Tim Robbins. It's like, yeah, when I was three... <laughs> so it's like something old people used to do they would watch a show called i think you should leave <laughs> yeah it was back whenever like streaming was a thing could you believe that yeah that was before you could uh uh inject it right into your eyeballs yeah <laughs> down the hatch bon appetit. <laughs> bon appetit. anyway it's just really really old show let my wife eat the receipt <laughs> if you love the gifts as much as you say you do, and you don't have a problem with me eating the receipt, tell them it's the house where you can see the KFC in their front window. <laughs> yeah, there's like no cute restaurants around here. <laughs> it's a really nice neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there was there was a little while there where I thought Creature Corner was going to get canceled because of all we did was just quote it. I felt like we were unsupervised for a couple of those months. Yeah. <laughs> and literally, no one's like, "All right, guys, you got to cool it." Yeah, like, seriously, it. there's something wrong with you guys. Yeah, you're, you're, you guys uh, seriously chill out on the Tim. I'm sure my wife felt that way. You gotta chill out on the Tim, man. You're going too far into Tim. You knew I liked that gun. <laughs> you knew I'd like that gun. You knew I'd like to shoot that gun. Oh, yeah. You don't care who gets in your way. What? 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 <laughs> I said, you don't care who gets in your way. Oh, not, hell. He said, not really. <laughs> not really. <laughs> not really. It's like, oh my God, are they going to kill us? Well, they might kill you, but they're not going to kill me. <laughs> but they're not kill Everything has sucked lately. Wasting my time. We're working on Mercury. I'm going to have to turn this guy into Mercury. Partial. If I make it metal, Did that help? <coughs> it is cold down here. Is it cold? Oh, yeah, boy. Riding on Mercury. Now he's riding on Mercury. He's uh, halfway there. Nice. Man, get that man some Mercury. You can't ingest that much Mercury.
angels and archways. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just a fan of his music and his acting. Oh no. It's a good thing I decided to put spikes on a very pivotal joint. Insane. It looks so good. Ooh, boy. You broke the rules. I'm not going to leave here worse off. <laughs> what is that from? Uh, that's from the... Uh... It's not enough time. Oh! <laughs> Wait, is that, is that the one that's from? I can't remember. Wait. I'm not leaving here worse off. What is that? Super sick, dude. Look at that. Looks clean. It's getting there. Are you using bridge for key shot? Yes. Yep. And it's been a while, boys. And it's been a little bit. Hi, Noah. Hello. Huge fan of his angels and archives. Go ahead and pop some frame lights in here, some aerial lights. the whole man the navigation and key shot still is still it, just a little aggravating yeah and, and especially if you haven't been in it in a while you're like what is going on Do, do, do. 
Meow, meow, meow. Maybe I don't. That's fine. Let's just pull a. Let's pull a metal texture. Give me this one. This is the one that I want. Look at that. Beautiful. I'm gonna save it to the desktop. Let's pop that in roughness. I cannot encourage enough saving out like little file, like little project folders. Sick. I don't know what happened, but something went really bad. Oh no! Why are you doing this to me, sir? Oh boy. Oh boy! Oh no! Gracious. Let's kill it off and restart it. Gracious. Oh boy. <laughs> you know what? I don't even care. Just go away. Kill yourself. There you go. Boom. What GPU do I have? I don't know. It's something really cool. It's pretty good. It's made really of, good. It's made of butter. There we go. And now it's like he's wearing socks. He's got socks on. He's got little socks on. He little does socks. have some big old sock feet. He, he does have some sock feet. But I'm going to eventually just blend those into the mercury. Oh, the mercury. The mercury. So it looks like he's coming out of the mercury. He is a little bit T-1000. He tees it up. It's a little bit of jazz. Yeah, he kept he kept saying on set like it was a cosmic gumbo. Cosmic gumbo. There we go. Is his foot melting into it? Yes, yes, he, he is. Uh, he is part of uh, Merc. His fat belly was a great call for my worm pet. Oh yeah, yeah, totally. It's just it's uh, shapes. It's all shapes. Um, for a second, I forgot about that. So you said uh, worm pet. And I got confused. I love worm pet. There he is. Excellent, dude. That's killer, man. You have some killer instinct. <laughs> killer instinct. Yeah, I like where he's going. He's looking pretty cool. Yeah. Dude, it looks rad as hell. Thank you, man. There we go. What would you 
just happened to go here. There we go. Let's see if we can find all the wood. I'm just assuming that's it in this track. Hello? What's going on? Like, what's going on? No, oh, here we go. Yeah. Let's do the old... Do the old dirt metal. Oh, nice. Nice crash, bro. Uh-oh, crash, man. I've just noticed oh, no. that, you know, 23 is just a lot more uh, sensitive. Yeah, it just it breaks is. a lot more. Glacius. There we go. Get his blades in. Get that guy a glacier. Yeah. No. Wow. And uh, now it just doesn't want to open. It's cool. Real cool, guys. Uh, thanks, Jordan. Yeah, Gnarls, Gnarl Town. Gnarlsville. Gnarbled Barclays. Oh, no. Go. This went well. This went very well. that song. So, dude, your guys all crashed up? Yeah, pretty much. So I think that's a good place to close it. <laughs> what what <laughs> time would be so perfect? Dude, that is like sharp. Looks oh, crisp, man. Thank you, dude. Yeah, I've been having a lot of fun doing the old uh, farm gargle. I also uh -oh. feel like you really crushed your um, your uh, uh, Nomad to, to ZBrush pipeline, too. Yeah, I'll have to show you the Nomad model. It's hilarious. Dude. I would like to see it. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Ryan. Yeah, it's, it's been a fun uh, 
fun couple of projects here. Let's see, I don't know if I have the... I've got the where... I don't know what version of Sarah Wolf this is. Let's see what it is. Yeah, this is before he was done. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's still chonky back then. Yeah, we're going to have to get all these dudes to fight. Ready to fight. And we have some outline on the Oh, yeah, dude, Glacius is looking sick. That's cool. I like the I like the comic style render. Yeah, you you know oh, dude, the left arm is dope. Let me uh, let me go back here. Guys. Yeah, that here, that's dope. Yeah, dude, um, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, it it, it started coming together. Um, I, there's still some things I'd like to clean up in the pose, like and the fingers now that they're bigger need some attention um but uh and and this arm i still want to add some like uh some spiky jabbies to it dude i i still would like to see him be a little buffed up in his biceps and his thighs though oh yeah okay i, I like his lanky proportions but he is like a big he's like you know they're all kind of just those big t-zoned yeah that's true that's <laughs> true muscle. that but that's why i was trying to change that at least for like one dude he know? looks sick dude um but I do feel like um, like I got who he is now. Yeah. Know? I mean, he doesn't understand who he is. He doesn't know. They don't understand who, who they are. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah man. Uh, Ryan says, hopefully in the near pu uh, future, I can grab some classes in No Man. Seeing this makes me want to jump in. Yeah. Sick. Typhus likes the slender look. Yeah. No, the proportions are great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's just saying beef up the muscles. And I, I, I do agree with him. Uh, on that just to fit the uh killer instinct vibe killer instinct so <laughs> so i might actually take a little bit more time on it you know who knows yeah it looks awesome dude. These are anyway, really uh well shoot man that's a good place to end it for the night sounds good to me i just want to say thanks to everybody for uh coming and hanging out with us tonight go see godzilla x kong in movie theaters now now go see it if you want to uh contact us on social media these are our socials there's monster mash 042 at your Krzyzewski. please contact matt millard at itchy tasty underscore and add matt millard 3d art please contact us tell us tell us what you think come hang out with us Thanks for hanging, dudes. And uh, join us next time on Creature Corner. And uh, good night. Okay.